the News Center in high definition. This is News Channel 8 on your side today. Coming up, scientists here in the Bay Area are working to make sugar safe for diabetics. And we all know teenagers love to listen to loud music. Up next, we'll tell you what damage it could be doing to their hearing. It affects a lot of them. This is News Channel 8 Today. There could be a major breakthrough in making more foods accessible to people with diabetes, and the research is happening right here in the Bay Area. With generational ties to Florida Citrus, local scientists Daryl Thompson and Joe Ahrens have been studying how to reduce the glycemic impact of sugars. There can be 27% sugar in this orange. You don't get diabetes by eating an orange. Why not? Thompson and Aaron's believe a component of tropical fruit, fruit and vegetables simulate insulin. They're calling the compound simulin. Our next big step is what we'd like to see is this, we think this discovery is just as important as adding folate to bread to prevent neural uh, birth defects. Um, what we would like to see is take this simulant and add it to the big food houses, to add it to our colas, our breads, uh, our snacks, potato chips, so that, so that they would actually get this, this glucose modifying protective effect even when they're snacking. I tasted the brownies that Joe's wife made using the powder, and you really would have to have a keen sense of taste to notice any difference. Um, I let the crew sample them. They mm -hmm. liked them as well, and they're hoping that this is going to be kind of like the folic acid. Well, very quickly, why was the orange that was cut and they were holding up, why was it brown around the edge? That was like a Bill Nye the Science Guy experiment right here in our studios. That's the actual part of the citrus that has this component uh -huh. in it, and they were just trying to identify it. Gotcha.